Who is this, bro? Try to pronounce the name. Cause I, I, I'm gonna mess up. Bert. Bert Kreischer. Bert Kreischer. 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 I'm pretty sure I'm close. If I had to guess. Yeah, Bert, I'm gonna guess Bert Kreischer. Kreischer. <laughs> Bert Kreischer. 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 <laughs> I didn't even know in in there. Bro. Okay, the machine. Kreischer. Uh, guys, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know who this guy is. Y'all know who this is? I don't. But I feel like I've seen him before. But I've, I've never. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, he looks who he very is. familiar. Yeah, he does. He looks familiar to you, bro. He looks like the Infowars guy. <laughs> like, yeah, he looks like, is? he looks like, no, I don't know who that is, but he looks like he played like a superhero movie. Damn. He's like he a bigger like, Adam Sandler. <laughs> he does like a big Adam Sandler. <laughs> he looks like he's done something uh, in the movies for sure. All right, though, so yeah, man, uh, I seen this on a couple reaction pages, and I was just interested interested to see who this is, so we just gonna check Bert it out. Bert Kreischer, is that you say it? Uh, yeah, that's my right, last and final Y'all let us know. Final I'm gonna guess. say Bert Kreischer. Bert Kreischer. Bert Kreischer. Kreischer, I don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm like. <laughs> When I was 22, I got involved. When I was 22, I got involved with the Russian mafia. Here's how it happened. Is this story real? I went to school at Florida State. I was not a very good student. I was there uh, like seven years. Damn. I was there in most of the 90s. <laughs> this is no seven one. years. I, I was in college longer this than no grunge one. music was around. <laughs> <laughs> Not seven years, bro. Yeah, I'm not close. <laughs> seven uh, years in college? Uh, you have a this is how bad of a student I was. So One far. time, I signed up for a Russian class thinking it was Spanish, and it took three classes before I realized I don't think this is Spanish. <laughs> So I got to leave the teacher who was hot. He definitely worked out. I'm kidding. I don't. It was a girl. It was a girl, and she was hot. She still is hot. She stopped me. She goes, "Don't go anywhere." I need 14 kids to teach this class. You're the 14th. I need to teach this class in order to get my master's. So, if you sit back down, like. you don't have to do anything all semester, and I'll just give you a C. I was like, uh, Strauss boots ya, bitches. I'm back. Oh, me. <laughs> so I took Russian one, two, three, and four. Never learned a word. Think about what I'm saying. I took two years That's of a language. Crazy. Took four semesters of my college career for four semesters. Russian four was taught in Russian. <laughs> Do you have any idea what it's like to go to a class and sit there like an immigrant at the DMV all day? Like, <laughs> <laughs> the end of Russian four, same teacher pulls me aside. She's like, we're taking a trip to Russia. If you go, you'll get a minor. I was like, okay, hold on. <laughs> you know, I can't really speak, read, write, or understand the language, right? She's like, I'm fucking well aware of that. <laughs> you gotta remember, I was taking tests in a language with which I was unfamiliar with their alphabet. Damn, bro. Who was in there? Do you don't know anything. What insane. it's like to take a test and make up doing. hieroglyphics? <laughs> yeah, I was just it's like, it's like and math. The answer is star circle hashtag shoe. See, but at least in math, you know what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> you can read it. you just staring at some. some <laughs> he said he signed up for the Russian It doesn't mafia. matter. We need kids to make this trip happen. And if you go with all the classes you've taken and the ones you will take, dude, you will get a minor. And I was like, oh, that's all you had to say. <laughs> Let's go to Russia and fuck some minors. It's a different. That's a red flag. <laughs> I'm like, what did he say? My homework. <laughs> I heard him, but hold on. You will get a minor. And I was like, oh, that's all you had to say. Let's go to Russia and fuck some minors. It's crazy. Two, it's a crazy it's a different, sentence. It was different. Minor, obviously. Learned that the hard way. It's a crazy statement. So we went to Russia in 1995. This is when the mob ran everything, and they told us that our very first night. They sat the whole class down. They're like, listen, we have paid off the mafia to keep you safe. Bruh. In exchange for our money, they... What do you think it would be like to get, like, mugged or something by the mafia? It would be scary. That would be scary as fuck. <laughs> that would be the worst thing ever, bro. Honestly, well, I honestly want to meet somebody. You know what? You know my worst thing, my worst fear, guys, is if somebody, you know how they be putting the bags over your face? Yeah. Hit you bro. with the water? That's a, oh, waterboarded? Yeah. Like, face the worst thing that's ever. Like, that's like one of the worst forms of torture. That's what they do to terrorists. Like, that's the worst thing ever, bro. Hey, when I seen that in movies, it's like, oh my God, bro. That would be a bad position. It's like drowning while being awake. <laughs> we have terrible. paid off the mafia to keep you safe. 
in exchange for our money, they give us two young gangsters. I'm in the room like, this trip just got fucking awesome. <laughs> the word for gangster in Russian is banditi. They go, these banditi are going to live with us. They're going to walk you to class. They're going to walk you back from class. They're going to take you on field trips, walk you back from field trips. Do not speak to them. They're in the mafia. Do not look at them. Do not engage them. Do not interact with them. I was like, well, they're going to be my best fucking friends. <laughs> So the first night I grab a bottle of vodka and a six pack of Baltica, which is our local beer, and I plan a sentence. I was gonna say, Strasvutsia, Ochimbriatna, Yarabota, you koshka. Sound like he actually knew something. <laughs> yeah, he sounded he pretty good what he said. Does anyone speak Russian in here? I love that someone says no. No. I did a head count earlier, it doesn't look like it. I'll tell you what the sentence says. It's a badass sentence. I worked all day on it. Hello, my name is Bert. It's very nice to meet you. I work pussy. I just realized something. What? He's doing his whole stand up with no shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I didn't pick that. Like, I just watched him. like it's so casual. But when you start interacting with him, I'm like, he's in front of all them people with no shirt. Hey, that makes it more funny. That man. takes what the balls, heck? bro. Hey, hey Bert. I respect you. <laughs> yeah. Hey, he reminds, me of, he reminds me of Peter Hello. Griffin. He's, a, he's definitely an alpha. Bert. It's very nice to meet you. He reminds me I of Peter Griffin. Pussy. <laughs> kind of. It really means I work with cats. <laughs> I didn't know the fucking language. What do you expect? Bert really got no uh, It doesn't on. matter because the second the door opens and I'm face to face with a real Russian gangster with the wife beater and the tattoos with the track pants and the cigarette. And then she just stares me up and down. A frat boy from Florida State. I was wearing a fanny pack. <laughs> he just looks at me and goes, Stole! I fucking panicked. And everything I had planned on saying flooded out of my head. And all I said to him in Russian in his doorway was, I am the machine. <laughs> And he started laughing. He goes, what did you say? I was like, I'm the machine. He grabs me and he goes, come in and tell my friends. Brings me in a room full of nine Russian gangsters drinking and smoking and just goes, stop. <laughs> tell them what you said. <laughs> now I'm like, fuck it. I'm the machine. <laughs> they looked at each other, looked at me, and they're like, fuck it. He's the machine. <laughs> and I became the machine. And these guys loved me. <laughs> hey, Bert came out there with the belly on. You gotta realize yeah, that the reason they loved me is I went shot for shot with them that night, all night long, until like four in the morning. But all I knew how to say in their language was, I'm the machine! And I fuck cats. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> We did everything together. We uh, like the guy that answered the door. His name was Igor. He was like my best friend. We did everything together. We ran a pool hall scam. We stole a boat. It was literally the best summer of my life. And then one day, the whole class is taking a trip to Moscow. It's an overnight train trip. And I say to Igor, I go, "This is gonna be a blast. We gotta be in the same cabin." And he goes, "I can't go." I said, "Why not?" And he goes, "Different mafia runs train. Different mafia runs Moscow." I said, "Well, hold on. What's that mean for me?" And he goes, don't worry, I set up banditi, I tell them about you, they'll take care of you. Sure enough, we get to the train station, and he introduces me to my two new gangsters, Igor and Igor. <laughs> and he says to me, he goes, guys, this is the machine, if you give the machine vodka, you'll have a great time. <laughs> the big ear of the two Igors looks like a kid on Christmas, he's like, oh, I can't wait to play with a machine. <laughs> He grabs me and he goes, the machine doesn't sit in coach. The machine sits in first class with us. I'm like, that's what I'm fucking talking about. <laughs> we go to first class and it is pimped out with booze, food, and here's the real gangster part. Second the train takes off out of the station, everyone that works on the train comes in to pay their respects. The conductor walked in. Rips off the stars and stripes to his shirt, places them on my lap and goes, this is a present for the machine. <laughs> Bro, what does the machine mean? Machine. Machine. I'm 22 years old thinking, huh, these machine stories might have gotten out of control. <laughs> <laughs> we drank all the booze in an hour, and Big Igor stands hey, we gotta up to figure the machine, out with the machine to the to get more vodka. I'm like, fuck it, I'm in the mob, I'll do whatever the fuck bro, I he's want. He's a machine, bro. <laughs> bro, but it has to be a reason why they like locker. the word just, machine. Not that I've ever been that guy, just said, I've seen it. You just said, I'm the machine. Yeah, bro, it just sounds cool. Whoa. I'm the machine. You know the look where everyone looks like, oh, man. we roll into the bar cart like a big dick in a locker room. Just, not that I've ever been that guy, but I've seen it. <laughs> just smack. You know the look where everyone looks like, oh, shit, okay. 
Oh, someone's here. Okay, all right. <laughs> Igor looks at me, and in Russian he says, "Machine, go behind the bar and grab bread." In Russian. In Russian. And I understood him. For a second, I'm like, I'm fucking learning. <laughs> I'm learning the language my way, not through flashcards and textbooks, but by joining the mafia. <laughs> I get behind the bar, I'm like, Igor, I know what you said. He's like, go for your machine. Can the machine find cheese? And I was like, Steve, cheese, I got it. Give me another one. And he's like, grab vodka. I was like, I already know that one. Give me another one. He's like, grab the money. I'm like, huh? He goes, grab the fucking money. And I realized at that instant, uh, we're robbing the bar cart. And I'm the one doing it, hooked on phonics style. I grab the money, walk out, two of my classmates see me and they're like, you're in so much trouble. Go back to our first class cabin and within five minutes, the head chaperone of this train trip, not the whole trip, just this train trip. She was an English teacher who did not speak Russian, who hated me before I robbed the train. <laughs> she comes over to our first class cabin and swings the door open with that like liberal arts confidence, just, <laughs> this shit is over you're done you're done stand up right now you you stand up stand how how you're done stand up and big eager looks at me confused then smiles takes a big sip of vodka spits it in her eyes and goes no one talks to the machine like that <laughs> Shuts the door in her face. This goes, is incredible. Fuck story. that bitch. This is this awesome. Is, bro. I'm pretty sure I really, I really didn't even know like if this would actually happen. Like, There's wow. no way, bro. This, 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 like, this, this can't be real. This can't be real. What the real, fuck are we bro. doing when it gets this dark? This is too good to be true. Reaches in his pocket, pulls out a ring of keys, and he goes, "We're robbing the whole fucking train." <laughs> I'm a good person. I don't cheat on, I don't cheat on, this is why, I, let me tell you, I don't cheat on my wife. I don't cheat on my wife because one morning, our whole family was in bed, the dogs, the cats, the girls, my wife, and we were just giggling and it was pure, it was perfect. And I, don't, I thought to myself, I don't ever want to screw this up. This is the most important thing. This is what it's, life's about. And they got up to make chop, chocolate chip pancakes and I laid in bed and I said, I will never cheat on my wife. I had a conversation with myself. I said, if I ever get into a situation where a hot girl's flirting with me or I think she's flirting with me and it seems like it could go further, I'm just gonna cock block myself. I'm just gonna look her in the face in front of everyone and go, I don't cheat on my wife! Now, I may be wrong. She may not be hitting on me. She may throw a drink in my face, slap me, or I may be right. I, none of that matters to me. What matters to me is that I don't cheat on my wife because I've already had that conversation. Here's the problem. I never had that conversation about robbing trains. So when presented the opportunity, I thought I'd be like, not me, I'm gonna go back and work on my verbs. <laughs> but apparently when presented the opportunity, I'm the guy that's like, fuck it, let's start with my class. So we robbed them first. While they slept, if that makes it better. And then we robbed the whole train. And if there's any consolation, we robbed me too. My bag was with them. And then we drank all night long. All night long. Like literally until six in the morning. Top five drunkest I've ever been without throwing up in my entire life. We pull into Moscow at 6 a.m. I'm pissed drunk. You ever been so drunk, you're like, I know I got a piss, but I can't find my dick. <laughs> train yeah. stops, sun's up, I'm hammered. Door opens, same teacher, not mad. <laughs> Curious, right? She looks me in the eyes, smiling, and goes, I want to be the one to tell you they've alerted the police. And I look out, and on the platform, my whole class is standing there with a cop, talking, they're upset, they've been robbed, I get it. <laughs> you finna sneeze, You finna sneeze. You finna sneeze. Big Igor sees this and is completely unfazed. He's like, don't worry. I talked to police for both of us. I was like, oh, thank God. He cracks a bottle of vodka. I'm like, nah, I wouldn't bring that out to an officer, maybe. <laughs> Lights a cigarette, walks out to the cop, who's taking a statement. The cop is taking a statement. Igor walks up behind him, grabs him by the arm, spins him around and goes, fuck you. <laughs> we fuck you in the mouth. We fuck you in the ass. We, I'm like, stop with the fucking we shit. 
Now the cop is just staring at me and I hear him bark out, Pinyum, sit down, sit down, which I don't even know what that means, but it doesn't sound like, you're okay, stay there. <laughs> it is a come to Jesus moment where you know you fucked up. All I thought as I walked to the cop, who's standing in front of the class, I just robbed. Next to the gangster, I robbed them with, my only thought was, this isn't how I plan on spending my second junior year. <laughs> and the gulag taking hot dicks to the throat. I get five steps from the cop, who looks impatient as shit. He takes two big ass steps, grabs me by the arm, spins me away from my class, away from Igor, pulls me right into his face, and he goes, so, I understand you're the machine. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. He made this up. Yeah, there's no way. That was a crazy fucking story. And I looked at him and I was like, wait, I'm not in trouble? And he gets so close to me, I can smell his morning cigarette. And he goes, no. <laughs> Fuck that bitch. This is Russia. <laughs> <laughs> Monetization. <laughs> he oh, said the D word. <laughs> he that kept letting the D word story. ride. He said bro. this Russia. <laughs> he kept saying the D word, man. He, said he didn't know any Russian. He bro, was speaking yeah. fluent Bert, Russian. <laughs> Bert is a. I think he's like a full time comedian guy. Yeah, that, was, that was a cool story. Yeah, he has a podcast and all. Yeah. I'm rocking with Bird. Yeah, Bird got like 46 million. It was 46 when million. I was 22, I got I'm rocking with Bird. All right, yeah. Hey, if y'all like Bird and y'all want some more Bird, man, let us know. Uh, yeah, we're just testing Bird out, guys. We gone.